Welcome dear students. So in today's class of determinants, we are going to learn about adjoint of a square matrix. Okay, so uh, for example, let me consider any square matrix A equals to Aij. Okay, so this is a square matrix remember. So we can call the order to be n cross n. Okay, now if this is my given matrix, what does this give me? You have already seen this, isn't it? This will give me the cofactor, isn't it? Cofactor of this matrix. Okay, so cofactor of I should not say matrix, I should say cofactor of Aij, small Aij. Okay, so this gives me small Aij. Now, if I put all the cofactors within a matrix, understand the situation, find all the cofactor, okay, and put them within the square matrix, okay, and after putting it into the matrix, find its transpose. Is the thing clear? Find adjoint of each and every, uh, find a uh, cofactor of each and every element of the matrix and put them again within a matrix and find its transpose. Okay. So, this is called adjoint of A and this is denoted as this one. Okay. So, remember adjoint of A is also a matrix, but it is a transpose of the matrix where the elements are cofactors of the given matrix. Okay, so this is the main thing that you need to remember. Okay, so a few more things I want to add here is where do we use adjoint of a matrix? So we use adjoint of a matrix in order to find the inverse of any matrix. Okay, now in chapter of matrices, you learned how to find inverse of a matrix using elementary operations. Either it can be row operations or column operations, isn't it? But here in the chapter of determinant, there also you learn about finding the inverse of a given matrix, but there you have to make use of the concept of adjoint of a matrix. Okay. Now, how do we find adjoint? So, uh, how do we find inverse? So, inverse of a matrix is found using this particular formula. So, this is 1 by determinant of A into adjoint of A. So, this is very important formula for finding A inverse. Okay. Now, see determinant is in the denominator, isn't it? So, can it be equals to 0? No, right? So, you have to mention that this determinant is not equals to 0. Okay. Now, one more thing I want to add here is consider a matrix A. Okay. So, when we find its determinant, there are two cases possible. One is determinant can be 0. Yes. And another is determinant cannot be 0. Okay, so for example, here in this case, we have determinant not equals to 0, right? Suppose if determinant of the matrix turns out to be 0, then this matrix is known as singular matrix. What do we call it? We call it singular matrix. Now, if the determinant is not equals to 0, then matrix A is known as non-singular matrix. Okay, so these are the things that you need to remember and uh, one more thing I want to add here is or rather I should say one more formula. Okay, so formula is A into adjoint of A will be equals to determinant of A into identity matrix of order N because we are dealing with N cross N square matrix. Okay, so this is one of the formula or else if you want to keep it at back that also can be done okay so in that case it becomes adjoint of a into determinant of a oh, i'm sorry not determinant this is just a okay so these are the things that you need to remember when we do problems on adjoint of a square matrix okay so you may pause the video and note down 
this important points and with that we will begin with the problems on adjoint of a square matrix. So, here is the objective type question ok. So, question says for what value of k this matrix has no inverse. Now, you know ok. So, let me call this matrix to be A. So, let A be this matrix 2 k 3 5. So, for its inverse to exist I told you that this determinant should be see for if you want the inverse of this the determinant of sh this should not be equal to 0. That means, if determinant of A becomes 0 then the inverse of A do not exist. So, in other words if A is a singular matrix if A is a singular matrix then it will not have its inverse ok. So, uh, um, now A will not have its inverse if and only if you can call it if and only if it is singular or non-singular if and only if it is singular right. So, that is that is if determinant of A becomes 0 right. Now, what is A here A is 2 k 3 5. So, if this becomes 0 then your inverse would not exist that is 2 5 is 10 minus 3 into k is 3 k is equals to 10. So, from here if you calculate the value of k it turns out to be 10 by 3. That means, when k becomes 10 by 3, 10 by 3 then the inverse of this matrix do not exist ok. So, uh, this is an objective type question for you. You may pause the video and note down your solution. So, we have a very important question which says show that A equals to this one satisfies this equation and hence find A inverse very important. Now, forget about that A inverse what is the meaning of this satisfies this equation. It means that if you put the value of x by A ok and here also A here we do not have any number. So, you can write 7 i here identity matrix and if you evaluate that this full thing turns out to be a 0 matrix. So, that is what we need to show ok. So, we need to to show that A square minus 3 A minus 7 i is nothing but a 0 matrix ok. So, let us see. So, in the left hand side we have a square minus 3 a minus 7 i. See you have already done this in your chapter on matrices. So, a square is a into a that is 5 3 minus 1 minus 2 into 5 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 a a is what is a a a a, a is ok. So, 5 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 7 i i is 1 0 0 1 ok. So, we have this one let us evaluate this quickly. So, we have ok. So, I told you follow this direction. So, I want first row first column ok. So, I want first row first column. So, it is 5 into multiply the first row with first column 5 into 5 is 25 plus 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. So, first row first column is done. Now, first row second column first row second column gives me 5 3 is a 15 plus 3 into minus 2 is minus 6. So, I got first row second column. Now, second row first column. So, second row first column minus 2 into minus 5 is minus 5 plus minus 2 into minus 1 is 2 ok. So, we have similarly second row second column second row second column minus 3 into minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 plus minus 3 into minus 2 becomes plus 4. So, this is my a square right. So, let us find the next thing minus 
So let's multiply with 3. 3 fives are 15. So 3 threes are 9. So remember uh, in a matrix we multiply to each and every element. In case of determinant, you can multiply either one row or one column. Mm -hmm. So 5 threes are 15, 5, 3 threes are 9. 3 into this is minus 3. 3 into this is minus 6. All right. So next we have 7007. Zero, zero, seven. Okay, so we have, let's quickly evaluate this. So we get now 25 minus 3 is 22, as you all know, right? Okay, now 15 minus 6 is 9. Okay, this is minus 3 and this is just 1. Okay, now so you know this and this both have got minus sign so if there is minus sign they will get added isn't it so minus so let's add each and every element each and every element of these two so 5 plus 7 don't uh, do this 5 minus 7 okay so hey minus and minus both are same so they will get added but the sign will remain the same so let's just add the numbers so you get 15 plus 7, don't look at this and I am telling you, 5, 15 plus 7 is 22, okay. So, 9 plus 0 is 9, okay, minus 3 plus 0 is minus 3, alright, and we have minus 6 plus 7 is 1, isn't it? Now, look at this, are these two same? Yes, so that's why you get ultimately this to be a 0 matrix, isn't it? So, instead of this, I can write this capital O. So, we have shown the first part here. Okay. Now, next is you have to find A inverse using this only. Very important and be very careful with this. Okay. Now, let's see how to find A inverse. Okay. So, we have, see here carefully, we have, we have, a square minus 3a minus 7i is equals to 0 matrix. So bring this minus 7 over there and take something is common out here, right? So that is the common part is a here, isn't it? So a is common means you get a minus 3i. Remember, a is a matrix. So you cannot write only 3, okay? So you have to write i also. Okay, so when it goes over there, you get 7i. Okay, now, so what am I going to do is, you want to find A inverse, remember. Okay, so let's multiply both sides by A inverse. Okay, so I have to multiply from front. So, we already have A into A minus 3i. Okay, so this is already there. I am multiplying with A inverse. So, we get, so 7 is a constant keep it outside so you get a inverse into i okay now a inverse into a okay so this is always i remember a inverse into a is always i so this becomes my i so this is my a minus 3 i okay is equals to 7 into a inverse into i Remember one more thing, uh, if you multiply any matrix with the identity matrix, you get the same thing, okay. So that means A inverse I will remain A inverse only, okay. So I told you multiply any matrix with identity, you get the same thing, right. So I into this will remain this much itself, okay. And what is my aim? My aim is to find, find A inverse, right. So from here A inverse will be so bring this to the denominator you get a minus 3i divided by 7 okay so this is how we find inverse now let's put the values all right so this is actually 1 by 7 isn't it so write 1 by 7 here okay so a what is matrix a matrix a is 5 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 I, I is 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. Alright. So, let's evaluate this. 1 by 7. So, this is 
5 minus so this is 3 and all these becomes 3 right it's 3 and 3 so 5 minus 3 is 2 okay 3 minus 0 is 0 I'm sorry 3 right minus 1 minus 0 is minus minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 isn't it so see here carefully if you want to take this inside that can be done so when you take it inside the matrix your answer will be equals to so your answer turns out to be 2 by 7 3 by 7 minus 1 by 7 and we have minus 5 by 7 so this is how we find the inverse using this given equation okay i hope you have understood this practice few more problems from book you will be able to do them also if you understand this okay pause the video and note down the solution now let's make use of these properties in solving few problems okay so here question says find without computing at joint of a find this find this that is the determinant of adjoint of a if a is given to be this much okay so you have to find the determinant of adjoint of a right but you are not allowed to compute adjoint of a so in such case you have to make use of the properties and see here we have this particular property now adjoint determinant of adjoint of a will be determinant of a to the power n minus 1 now this n stands for the order of the matrix now here what is the order 3 cross 3 isn't it that is the value of n is 3 isn't it so we have n equals to 3 right so therefore adjoint of a will be equals to n minus 1 which is 2 okay so basically in order to calculate this we need to calculate what is the determinant of a okay so let's quickly calculate so we have a is 2 minus 1 minus 2 0 2 minus 1 3 5, minus 5 0 and we have square okay so let's expand okay so first and foremost we'll write square okay so let's expand this way so 2 into so remove this and this you get 2 into 0 that is 2 into 0 is 0 minus minus 5 into minus 1 is 5 okay minus no need to write minus here because we have 0 plus 3 so remove uh, see here remove this and remove this you have this 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 and this so minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 minus 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 so al along with this minus it becomes plus 4 okay so we have see here carefully so 2 minus 5 is minus 10 plus 5 into 3 is 15 so we have square also so this is 5 square isn't it so that's why your answer for this particular question will be 5 square which is 25 is that clear so you may pause the video and note down your solution let's have a look at this problem now before that i have done or noted down one more shortcut formula for finding inverse of two cross two matrices okay so you can note down this also in your copy okay so if a is given to be this matrix find the determinant of this okay so all of you know determinant of a into b so if you call this as b determinant of a b will be equals to determinant of a into determinant of b right that is determinant of adjoint of a now what is the order of this matrix a what is the value of n n is 2 isn't it so that's why this becomes using third formula this becomes a into n minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 is just 1 isn't it so 2 minus 1 okay so basically it is into right so basically what is this this is determinant of a squared 
Okay, so let's see what is the determinant of a. So what is a first? A is two one seven five, and we have square. So let's find. So two five is a ten minus seven into one is seven, and we have square. So this is three square. So that's why your answer turns out to be nine for this. Okay, pause the video and note down your solution. So here we have a question which says, if A is this, find A into adjoint of A without calculating adjoint of A. Now, in order to find this, let's make use of this particular formula. Okay. Now, if you see here, A into adjoint of A is equal to determinant of A into I n, isn't it? So we'll write. We know that A into adjoint of A is what? It is determinant of a into i n. What is the order here? Three. So that's why it becomes i three. Okay. So we have determinant of a a is so three one two two minus three minus one one two one into i three. I three is a matrix. Remember, a matrix is one zero 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 one zero 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 one. Okay. So let's evaluate the determinant. So three into so see here. So it becomes minus three into one is minus three minus minus two into minus one is minus two. Okay, minus one minus one. So remove this and this. You get two into one is two minus one into minus one is minus one. Plus we have two. Right. So, what is uh, if you remove this and this, you get two minus three, one two. Two is a four minus one into minus three is minus three. Okay. So, this is the determinant. Okay, and we have the identity matrix one zero 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 one zero 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 one. Okay. All right. So, let's see how much is this. So, three. So, minus three. Minus into minus becomes plus. So minus three plus two is minus one. Minus one into three is minus three. Minus we have two minus into minus is plus. So two plus one is three. So three into one is three. Okay. Plus we have two. Four minus into minus is plus. So four plus three is seven. Seven into two is fourteen. Into the identity matrix zero. One zero 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 one zero 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 one. Okay, right. So minus three minus three is minus six. Fourteen minus six is eight. Right. So we have eight into this. Okay. So it becomes eight zero 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 eight zero 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 eight. Okay. So that means the value of a into adjoint of a will be this much. All right. Pause the video and note down your solution. So next question is solve the matrix equation. So generally, what we used to do is we used to take a equals to a matrix with x, y, or a, b, c, d, right, and used to solve. Okay. So here we will try to use the shortcut way. Okay. So what am I going to do is I'll call this to be x okay so let x is equals to this matrix 5 4 1 1 okay and y is equals to this matrix okay so 1 minus 2 1 3 okay so if i do this substitution then what do we have this is my x so you get x a is equals to y isn't it okay now see here carefully if i multiply both side by x inverse okay so if i multiply both side by x inverse you get x inverse x into a is equals to x inverse y okay right now how much is this i told you this is i isn't it so this is your i so you have i into a is equals to x inverse y so basically from here what will be the value of a the value of a will be x inverse y isn't it you have to solve this 
So solve this means you have to find the value of A, isn't it? So you can find the value of A using this particular equation. Okay. So that means in order to find A, first you need a x inverse. You know the value of Y, isn't it? So let's find x inverse. Now x is a 2 cross 2 matrix, isn't it? So therefore your x inverse using the shortcut formula, okay, using that shortcut formula will be so a into d that is a into d is 5 minus b into c right b c so this is 4 into 1 is 4 so what happens is you see a and d they will interchange their position so 1 5 and what happens to their sign they becomes negative so b becomes minus b and c becomes minus c okay so that's the shortcut formula so how much is this 1 by 1 so no need to write 1 by 1 so that's why your inverse turns out to be 1 minus 4 minus 1 5 so this is your x inverse so therefore your a will be equals to so x inverse is 1 minus 4 minus 1 5 okay and what is your y your y is 1 minus 2 1 3 okay quickly multiply this and check all right so we have 1 into 1 is 1 plus minus 4 into 1 is minus 4 second row first row second column first row second columns that is 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 plus minus 4 into minus 3 is minus 12 okay so second row first column second row first column gives me minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 plus 5 into 1 is 5 okay second row second column minus 1 into minus 2 is 2 plus 5 into 3 is 15 right so that's why your value of the matrix or matrix a becomes 1 minus 4 is minus 3 okay minus 2 minus 12 is minus 14 you have this is 4 right and this is how much this is 17 okay so this is the value of my matrix a pause the video and note down your solution so here we have a similar kind of problem. Now uh, see here carefully the assumption that I'm going to make is let x equals to uh, we have 2 1 3 2 y equals to the next matrix is minus 3 2 5 minus 3 next is and uh, next the last one is let me call this to be z and uh, the matrix is 1 2 2 minus 1 okay so these are the three matrix now let's see what do we get after that so then we get a uh, i'm sorry this is x so you get x next is p and next is y is equals to z isn't it and what do you want to find you want we want to find the value of p isn't it so what am i going to do is see here carefully we have x p z uh, x p y is equals to z isn't it so from left i'll multiply with x inverse from left multiply with x inverse from right we multiply with y inverse y inverse okay now x inverse x is i y y inverse is also i okay so that's why this becomes i p i is equals to x inverse z y inverse okay so we have from here p i p i is nothing but p so p will be equals to x inverse z y inverse okay so let's see now we have p okay so therefore okay so p is x inverse z y inverse so we need x inverse and y inverse so we will make use of shortcut formula again so x inverse so therefore x inverse so x inverse is 1 by a b d 2 into 2 4 minus b c that is 3 so remember you change the position of a and b so this and this gets exchanged and b and c they will have a reverse sign okay so your x inverse turns out to be 4 minus 3 is 1 so that's why your x inverse turns out to be 2 minus 1 minus 3 2 okay so this is your x 
all right we have y what do we need yes so we need y inverse so y inverse means inverse of this so we have a into d minus 3 into minus 3 is what it is equals to 9 minus 2 into 5 right 5 into 2 is 10 all right so you know these two will interchange their position so you get minus 3 minus 3 okay and this becomes negative okay so this becomes minus 2 this becomes minus 5 so this is minus 1 this entire thing is minus 1 multiply with minus 1 it becomes 3 2 5 3 so this is your y inverse okay so therefore therefore your p will be equals to x inverse what is x inverse x inverse is 2 minus 1 minus 3 2 okay z z is uh, 1 2 2 minus 1 and y inverse so y inverse is 3 2 5 3 okay so these are the things that you need to remember so let me remove this all right now you have to multiply these three matrices isn't it now always start your matrix multiplication this way first multiply these two and whatever you get after that okay so whatever you get when you multiply these two that will come here and we have 2 minus 1 minus 3 2 here isn't it okay so after that multiply and whatever you get that becomes your final answer that is the value of p okay so with this we close for the day you may pause the video and note down your solution thank you very much